I began effectively photographing in 1912. But long before, come a young guy at the age of six or seven. I discovered in my relative in the country, uh, the attic, old calendars, a family magazine. German type of family magazine, house, the Gartenlaube, and you know, this type of thing. And uh, I've seen this very warm illustration. And I dreamed maybe one day, myself, I like to do something this. Andre Kerter's childhood dream has come true. He spent his life creating pictures. But little did he know then that one day he would be regarded as one of photography's greatest pioneers. His photographs hang in museums and have gained him the admiration of some of the master photographers of this century. Cartier-Bresson has said, we all owe something to Cartes. In Brassai, André Cartes has two qualities which are essential for a great photographer, an insatiable curiosity about life and a precise sense of form. Born in Hungary in 1894, Kertész can look back at a career which started 70 years ago, when as a young man he captured the world which surrounded him. Teaching himself the art of photography, he developed his negatives in a large wardrobe in the attic of his grandfather's farm. What did interest you most? Everything. Human thing. Not only happening, but what is around the human thing, you understand? Home, shadow, happening, animal. The camera was for me a little notebook. It's a sketchbook. Nothing else, little sketchbook. And I projected the way honestly I feel. And instinctively began shooting and made many, many mistakes. <laughs> And effectively, it's my mistake I learned, developed myself the way I am. In 1912, everything what I did was exactly composed. I feel the photo is an art the way any other material is art. Painting or gravure or sculpture, art. This was a regular, normal, everyday paysan who interested the music. He was the car taker for my uncle. <laughs> you know the blind musician? The blind musician. I don't know what happened. It was separated here. Blind musician. You see, to look the expression, this boy. It was absolutely fantastic the way. If he is born in London or Paris or Berlin, maybe became an excellent musician. And you see this. Many photographs seem to come out of a dream rather than out of a reality. It's real. Whatever, I don't can photograph. He may dream me. It is possible. I give the dream, I am the dream tone. You understand? Give the tone. At the beginning of the First World War, Kertész joined the Austro Hungarian army. He took with him his most cherished possession, his camera. Wounded in battle, he was transferred to the medical corps, and during his travels, he photographed whatever and whenever he could. Oh, well, here is two photos what I want to show you. This is 1917. I was a health officer in this time, you know. And uh, between the trip, we stopped in Marburg. 
for 20 minutes, just before the market. So no problem, I go down, waiting a little and the photo. You find a subject for photographing, or does the subject find you? The subject find me. <laughs> the subject find me. In 1925, another of Cortez's dreams came true when he encountered his favorite subject, Paris. It was love at first sight, a love Cortez has never forgotten and which brought forth some of his most memorable photographs. What I can tell you, for art, for me, not for my generation, it was Paris, you know? I look on the window and immediately I see my first subject. <laughs> I want to do introduction for my Paris book. And uh, I think I'm ex expressing exactly the way I feel in Paris and what I did. Uh, J'écris avec la lumière. Et la lumière de Paris, ma bonne copine. Copine, with big, big C, O, etc., etc. This is Paris for me. But look, look at the closure washing the leg. Look at the set uh, shadow. The set a côté as the side uh, Notre Dame. You see, you don't get inventing this, no. This offering himself, and you accept. Now this is a charming, charming memory of Paris. And this was another closure in the quay, sur le quai, going along, you know? The pissoir, how decorative. <laughs> you see? Look how decorative. And in the background, this girl, completing the picture. You never had to go very far for your photographs. You always seem no. to have found them at the doorstep. Up around, yes, the doorstep, you are right. Everything what happening around interesting for me. I have the relation, yes. Uh, born this way and very happy. This is one which you found at your doorstep, isn't it? This photograph there. Yes. All I am waiting for the right moment. In the movement. You understand? If you're looking, uh, usually in my photo, the exact moment I catch in, in the movement, I feel this is. You don't see, you feel the thing. Impossible to see. Here's something, here's something exact. I do this thing. This is, this is the only way. Here, yes, I, maybe I waiting two, three moments. I did some other shot, was not enough for me, was not enough satisfactory. And I saw after some other came on this. No? Do you know what the photograph will look like when Absolutely. you take it? Absolutely. I know exactly in the end, before I am doing, how I should come out. Absolutely, I know. Are you sometimes surprised what has come out? But look, if don't come out the way I want, I'm unhappy. <laughs> this is the only surprise. No, not surprise me, I know what I want. Voila the atmosphere, you know. Regarding the reflection here in the water, why I did, I like it. No other answer. Effective, the subject affaired himself. You know, I profited. And voila, the chairs. Now, the chair is an interesting thing. Uh, the very first chair, the 25 in the Luxembourg Garden. This was the beginning. And uh, it was with me a very darling friend of me, Sur Muet. You don't you understand? Yes, deaf mute. Yes. And uh, making you are crazy. <laughs> well, 
Ah, why are you doing this? <laughs> and, um, I show you after. And after the feeling is like, you did the right thing. <laughs> Look this 25. Look the composition, absolutely modern. I have no idea this is modern. <laughs> you know? I feel this way, I did this way. Now plus the l'opera. Everybody like. I don't can give you explanation why. But really, everybody like. No, this is an amazing thing. I came over here in America and left every material in Paris. Twenty-seven later, after I had discovered my material, over sixty percent is broken. This broken this way. Can you imagine? <laughs> This is the actual glass plate broken. This is a glass plate. Maybe something fell over sharply. And this is not my merit. <laughs> you understand? The accident helped. Yeah. Kertes and his Hungarian wife spent many evenings at the Café du Dôme on Montparnasse. The Café du Dôme was the center of the world, point the artistic. You meet everybody. Uh, foreign correspondent, uh, artist, sculptor, writer, everybody. Here he met some of his famous sitters, the painter of La Manque, the model Kiki, the filmmaker Eisenstein, who had traveled all the way from Russia to meet him, and many others. They all accepted him as an equal and as a friend. Chagall. <laughs> he was a neighbor of my friend. We was together plenty of time, you know, evening to and uh, morning to. We understand it was a neighbor for my friend. Yeah. I'm Andrian, yes. He is the most realist what you can imagine. People judging, you know, with this line and form and etc. This is what I did. He liked it very well. This is a beautiful design, interesting design. What is characteristic for Mondrian too? He simplified, simplified, simplified. Instinctively, you see the composition in the spirit what he's doing around. The studio dictated. It was in a studio. They dictated. The form, the mur. You understand? Uh, absolutely. Look, the, the happening dictating. This is what I am. The happening is dictating for you. You have a different feeling with the happening around, you know? It is in the bad and in the good the same, you know? The, a killer can be artistic too, <laughs> you know? A Colette. Look, with Colette, uh, I made some portrait before. She was really an absolutely wonderful woman, absolutely wonderful girl. They go over and look at this. Show me what happened. Ironing. How this look? Don't look very natural. This happening in your life. I don't think other women accept the way this way. How many masks do people wear when they are photographed? How do you get the real face? Oh, the face? You waiting. I don't like is somebody posing. I like the absolute natural expression. The way I am never, never making pose or something, you know. Talking and I see it's not all right and waiting. And in the moment it's good and doing the shot. But you have to love a person in order to photograph the real person. 
look, love or don't love, you are in the job, <laughs> you understand? And <laughs> you are, you understand? No feeling, no right, no left. You're working, you do it. But in the work, you do what you want. Anything what I am doing, I am doing for myself. If I made work at magazine, etc., first myself. If I am not satisfied, I don't give the job. You understand? The subject is not what I want to do. I refuse. This is my angle always, whatever. Here in America, it was a desperate thing. Behind you, 36 uh, editor and giving the instruction, in the end, the photographer lost. You know? The fame of his photographs had traveled to America, and in 1936, the photographic agency persuaded him to go to New York. He left behind him a successful career and many close friends. New York was a disaster. His kind of photography was not understood, and magazines would not print his tender and sober images. Mm -hmm. Cartes, who had regularly contributed to German and French magazines, now found himself out of work. Trapped by the Second World War, he remained in what he considered a hostile world, a world where technical skill and perfection took priority over poetic vision. Nearly 30 years of frustration and misunderstanding followed, a bitter memory which still lingers on. If you want to learn writing or reading, you should learn the alphabet. And exercising day after day, writing, writing, day after day, in the end you have a beautiful, very nicely made alphabet. But what you're writing with the alphabet, this is the important. The minimum for this American so card photo artist was the maximum. Made photos technically super perfect. You understand? but expressed nothing. Of accident, Elman had a good subject, killed with the million the details what you don't need for the picture. You need the projection, the picture, not the technique. You understand? This is what happened. Although very natural, my style was not accepted. You are too human. Your pictures tell too many stories. We have editors to do that. Cortez's street scenes were considered too sentimental. His nudes too obscene. And the photographs which now fetch high prices and are avidly collected, then piled up in drawers, unpublished. Cartes' uncorrupted attitude and his freshness of seeing met nothing but indifference, an indifference which forced him further into isolation. One time I worked here for the American Ballet. I was very, very unhappy. I don't can do what I wanted. The very first time I begin arranging my light, and this moment a voice, stop! You don't have the right touching the light. Look around again, came out and guy, why, you are not in the union. You know what you mean. This is my light, I am doing my work. You don't have the right, don't touch. I lost my patience. I don't want telling exactly what I'm telling you. Don't look. This is my everyday work, everyday bread. Why you don't cut? Why you want I stop? You eat. I want it too. One more thing to do. I was unhappy, but 
And he, I made the photos my sure did. I heard in the west side, it was some children playing. We go over with ballerina, and I made the photo with the children in the street. Look this adoration the children looking. You see, in the right side. All the children, you know, fantastic. This was a fantastic thing, you know. Send that over for the Life Gallery, the Life Magazine. The same story came back with the other. Terribly far, we don't find that place for you, saying, this was life. This was life. Anything what you made with intelligent, not mechanical way, don't use. It was 39, 38, 39 in the Sixth Avenue, here in New York. Something happened, that's all. I catch the exact moment, it was very interesting. This little, little man, I remembered him, he was in the circus. You understand, a clown. And this couple, both blind, with the dog, playing, you see here, it seems uh, expressionality. He was touched and take all the money and give it. In the moment he gave the money, I made the photo. I born sentimental. This is the way I born effective sentimental. I accept, I feel very well this way, you know? Very not, uh, not realistic for the today world. This pigeon here, this is interesting. My, really, uh, the original idea I had him back in Paris. And I like to do something with the right position with the, with the pigeon. I'm sitting down, waiting with the camera, never came. Now here in America, similar situation. And time after time, we go around, although I dropped him, looking around. Waiting, maybe the third shot. <laughs> Came the exact position. I like the way it is. You waited 30 years for the pigeon. Maybe more. <laughs> 30 years if you want. Are you a patient man? Yes, should be. <laughs> Without pigeon, you don't get working. You know? You should have a big, big patient. Waiting, situation, light. And this happening, uh, I go back, I've seen something, what I like and I don't can do. This happening, I go back. Maybe I find one more, you understand? Sometime happens, sometime no. Maybe I can tell you the best picture was what I never made. <laughs> you know? Do you think a photograph reveals the real face of things? Yes. If you project in the way you feel, give the real thing. Otherwise, give only a document. This is what Life magazine wants. If two people would photograph, let's say, an apple. Yes. And from the same angle, in the same light. Yes. Both people would take a total different photograph, wouldn't they? They tell my story. <laughs> it's a very charming story. For a uh, view, journal view, I made a cover. It was a cover for an auto exhibition issue. An actress, a charming actress, driving. My idea was she just turning, you understand? Ishak, we made the Himalaya expedition, the Himalaya expedition photos, I think he made them. Uh, Andre, can I arrange my camera near your camera <laughs> in the time you are doing what I do? That's all. Now, 
I begin talking with this girl and talk slowly, slowly, and just now, you understand? The moment I made the shot, she made, but he made a little later. The expression changed. <laughs> you understand? How is possible? I made the same. The camera was near you, and why is different? Well, don't look. This is half second difference. <laughs> this is what happened. This is what happened. Is there a, a perfect moment for taking a photograph? No answer. There's absolutely no answer. I don't know, people, how you did? I don't know. I did, the moment came. I was only honest with the moment and with myself. Here is some ridicule thing, but was interesting for me. Look the step going parallel. Now I was over in Tokyo, looking out my window. Rainy day. Made the test shot with a zoom lens. What I bought came out perfectly all right. Now this is Arl. Look, he's wonderful plan with life movement, you know? It was two years ago. Another all, look, plan with life. Mm -hmm. You understand why I am shooting? <laughs> Cortez now rarely leaves his flat. After the death of his wife, life has become very quiet. He has had many exhibitions, and publishers and magazines are eager to print his photographs. But the many honors America is now bestowing on him seem to have come too late. His thoughts often wander back to the past, and he is content to take pictures of the many little objects which he has collected throughout his life. Recently, he discovered Polaroid photography and has taken hundreds of photographs of a little glass bust he picked up in a junk shop. Anything what around you, give something. If you find a little object or some value why you like, why you like momentum, but you have many, many relations long before you find a thing. Somebody presented me in Polaroid six years ago, and I made some shot I don't like it. The camera is made for snapshot with flash, nothing else. Left in the corner. Five years later, I discovered a glass bust, Italian glass bust. I was very touched. The shoulder and the neck was my wife. You understand? And I began shooting, I became crazy, and then shooting, and shooting, shooting. Now this is little, small little nothing can make the most beautiful thing too. I know people looking at this book and uh, feel something. I don't know why. The way I feel too. Looking out my window, and distortion nothing. How this happened? This came in the camera this way. Look at this fantastic face. You want, you don't want it expressing something. The face is this guy. You see it? Here I find a second sculpture. Look, two couple. You see? Look the expression. The cloud, the cloud made the face. This is here the same bust, but the shadow, only the shadow in the curtain. I like it. This happened, no? This happened, that's all. Look, the eye is only a mechanical instrument. This is what I am telling always. The eye, nothing else, is an optic, a natural optic. What is inside? This deciding in the picture, not the eye. 